Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to tell you about 25 things that I stopped buying after becoming a minimalist. So if you're interested in finding out what these things are, continue watching this video. If you're new here, I make new videos every week and I talk about minimalism, traveling, learning, lifestyle design and veganism. So if you're interested in these topics, you can subscribe to my channel now and click the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I post new videos and you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my daily life, you can join my Facebook group, you can become a patron of this channel. All the links are in the description. And now I'll tell you about the 25 things that I stopped buying after becoming a minimalist. And also these are the things that I don't buy as a 25 year old, I know that I don't look like it. And also as a vegan and as a minimalist because most of these items and these categories of items go hand in hand. So. I don't buy them because I'm vegan or I don't buy them because I don't need them because I'm, an, I'm a minimalist. <laughs> and if you are a minimalist or if there are things that you don't buy that are not on this list, you can comment down below and let us know what it is that you would add to this list, to your personal list of the things that you don't buy. But just very quickly before we go into the video, I'm thinking of making a video about the things that I started buying as a minimalist, as a vegan. I know it can be a bit controversial because minimalism is not about buying more things, it's about buying fewer things, but there are some things that I started buying as a minimalist, so if you're interested, let me know down in the comments. And also I'm thinking of making a video about the type of minimalist that I am because there are so many ways in which you can be a minimalist and call yourself a minimalist. And I just want to tell you a bit more about the type of minimalist that I am. And if you want to know why I became a minimalist in the first place, you can watch this video somewhere here, but after this one. Okay, so of course the first category of things that I don't buy is animal products. I don't buy anything that contains meat, dairy, eggs, honey, leather, wool, anything that's tested on animals or is not cruelty free, I don't buy. And that's because I'm a vegan, but also as a minimalist, I just don't like wearing animal skin or animal derived products on my body. Next, I don't buy alcohol. I don't buy and I don't drink <laughs> alcohol. And I can make a whole new video about why I don't drink alcohol. I haven't drunk alcohol for the past three or four years. Yeah, so I don't drink, I don't need to drink, and I don't buy alcohol at all. Next, I stopped buying fresh produce in plastic bags. So whenever I go out shopping and I buy fresh fruit and fresh vegetables, I always use reusable bags or I reuse the plastic bags that I already own. Next, I don't buy paper towels. I used to buy paper towels and keep them on the sink or near the sink in the kitchen, but now I just use cloths and they work just fine. I don't need to buy paper towels anymore. Who needs them? I don't buy water in plastic bottles and I don't buy anything in plastic bottles anymore. And that applies to non-alcoholic drinks as well. So any types of juice or, I don't know, coconut water, I always buy in cans or in glass bottles and plastic bottles are not something that I buy anymore. I stopped buying water filters. I used to have this um, water filter jog that filtered water and I don't do that anymore. I don't use it anymore. You can drink water straight out of the tap here where I live. So it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly safe. So I don't need to filter my water anymore. And I don't buy these filters that go inside these jugs. The next category of items that I stopped buying is books. I stopped buying fiction books. I don't really want to have them anymore. I sold almost every single book that was fiction and I don't have them anymore. The only ones that I have are Harry Potter books and just a few of my favorites. And now if I want to read something that's fiction, I reach for either ebooks or audiobooks and that's just fine. Sometimes I still buy non-fiction books like albums, but it's very, very rare. And if it's like a self-development book, I still reach for the ebook more than the traditional book. But sometimes I still buy non-fiction books, but fiction books, 
No, I, I, I just don't need to have them anymore in my life. I mean, the physical ones, I still read. <laughs> or I go to the library. Yeah, libraries are great. I'm so grateful that they still exist. I also stopped buying magazines. I used to buy lifestyle, fitness, and I think like health slash vegan magazines, like physical magazines. I don't do that anymore. I used to be obsessed with buying magazines because that was something that my parents did when I was younger and I always had this idea in my head that I wanted to do this on my own when I was older and I was doing it for some time when I was like 21, 22 and then I realized that all of this information, if I ever wanted, is on the internet. <laughs> so no, I don't even read magazines anymore if I'm like waiting at the hairdressers or I don't know, anywhere. I just don't, I don't reach for them. That's so funny, I used to be obsessed with them and now I'm not. <laughs> Next. CDs and DVDs and I know that probably not many of you buy CDs like physical CDs and DVDs anymore because everything can be streamed online but I used to be this huge collector <laughs> of CDs and DVDs and that goes way way back when I was around 15 and 16 all of my friends started buying musical CDs and like films on DVDs and I was so fascinated by it and I loved the idea of having something physical like having a physical CD that was bought with my own money like my own pocket money um, and then I collected them <laughs> for a few years and now not only have I sold almost every single CD that I had but I also don't buy any new ones and that also applies to films on DVDs like, I don't do that. Like, I can't even insert a DVD into my computer. <laughs> so, what's the point, you know? And during my minimalism journey, I discovered that they didn't bring me joy anymore. So, okay, now we'll talk about beauty products. And I want to talk about one category of beauty products that I stopped buying. And then I want to talk about a few specific things that I used to buy on a regular basis that I don't really buy anymore. So I stopped buying any trendy makeup products and that's something that was a huge part of my life when I was in my late teens and in my early 20s. I mean, even two years ago. So I, as a girl growing up watching YouTube, I used to be fascinated with the beauty world and I wanted to have access to all of these beauty products that these beauty gurus were recommending and I was saving money for it and then I would go to the local drugstore and I would buy whatever they recommended. And I stopped doing that because first of all, I no longer watch any beauty gurus anymore. That's not a part of my life anymore. And because of that, I'm not really experimenting with my look, with my makeup routine, with nothing really <laughs> when it comes to my appearance. And I don't buy anything that I don't need like lip liners, or brow gels, like different types of foundation. I found my perfect foundation that is cruelty-free and vegan. I found my perfect mascara that is cruelty-free and vegan. And I no longer buy anything that's trendy or anything that I don't really need. And now onto the few specific things that I used to buy and I no longer buy. And the first thing is nail polish and nail polish remover. I don't buy any nail products at all. Like my nails are never painted. I only get pedicure for my toenails <laughs> and that's it really. Like my nails are fine and I used to hate, like literally hate applying nail polish and taking care of my nails. I still don't like it and that's okay. I just don't like, it's boring. <laughs> it's not something that excites me, but I used to buy different colors of nail polish and different formulas because I thought it was something that I needed to feel like a woman or to feel like I was taken care of, like I looked put together, you know? And I realized that it's a lie, <laughs> that it's a lie sold by beauty companies and I don't need to have my nails painted. And that's why I stopped painting my nails and buying nail polish. Now it's completely unnecessary for me. The same goes for lipsticks. I don't wear lipsticks. I don't wear lip gloss. I don't wear anything on my lips except for protective lip balms and that's it. Like I used to think that I needed lipsticks. 
I think I really wanted to look older or more beautiful. I think that maybe in the future I will buy a few lipsticks that will go with my skin tone and that will be good for different occasions. But as a minimalist, I realized that actually I don't have to wear lipstick because there is no events in my life that require anything from me, like any lipstick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like lipstick is completely unnecessary in my everyday life. I don't need it. So that's why I stopped buying different lipsticks. Bottle shampoo is something that doesn't exist in my life anymore. I started buying bar shampoos a year ago and I'm loving it. So yeah, no more bottled shampoos. I stopped buying hair conditioner completely. I just use the bar shampoo on my hair, but I think my hair is fine and I don't need hair conditioner and I live just fine without it. <laughs> I don't buy plastic toothbrushes anymore. I go for the bamboo ones and they were very hard to adjust to at first because the feeling when I was brushing my teeth was a bit off, but now they are just fine. I've gotten used to them. I stopped buying mouthwash. Now as a vegan, I can't find high quality, good, vegan, cruelty-free mouthwash that doesn't taste like chemicals that I just hate. You know, I used to have my favorite mouthwash and now I just can't find anything that is almost as good as this one that is vegan and cruelty-free and they all come in plastic bottles. And to be honest, I don't want to make myself a DIY mouthwash, so I just live without it. And the last item within the beauty products slash cosmetics category is perfume. I don't buy perfume because I can't find vegan perfume and cruelty-free perfume that I can buy somewhere in a local shop that I can smell myself because I don't want to buy perfume on the internet where I can't really smell it. If you're vegan and you have some trusted perfume brands that are vegan and cruelty-free, let me know down in the comments. And now let's go to everyday items. I've stopped buying clothing from fast fashion stores and fast fashion brands. And whenever you see me wearing something that is from a fast fashion brand, it's probably bought secondhand. So I'm a huge fan of secondhand shopping. I just love finding very, very good high quality pieces. Even if they are from fast fashion brands, I don't wear them directly from the fast fashion stores. And that took me a while when I became vegan and a minimalist. And after I learned about the impact of fast fashion and the fashion industry, when I watched the documentary, The True Cost, it took me a while to fully transition. And now I can safely say that I don't buy anything that comes from fast fashion stores directly. I'm still trying to find ethical, sustainable brands where I can buy myself underwear <laughs> because that's the only thing that I still buy from H&M and that's it. Like literally, that's it. I stopped buying fashion items that I knew I would wear only once. So high heels, I no longer buy high heels. Um, any types of shoes that are only for one occasion, um, dresses, like party dresses, I stopped buying these things because I want to have a closet where everything goes together and many things can be worn on many occasions multiple times. So this is something that I'm building currently and I don't want to buy anything that will be worn only once. I stopped buying handbags. I used to wear handbags and carry handbags and I noticed that they are really bad for my back and for my posture and a year ago I think I invested in a backpack and I stopped wearing handbags altogether and I used to buy handbags very regularly I think every two years because they were very cheap and low quality <laughs> because I didn't want to buy anything made of leather and I couldn't find anything then, back then, um, that was made of vegan leather and that was sustainable. So every two years I would have to replace my handbag with a new one and that would be a vicious cycle of buying handbags and I don't buy any handbags anymore. I love my backpack and it's beautiful and it helps me every day. I stopped buying cheap jewelry, like the type of jewelry that you can see near the cash registers and clothing stores. I literally stopped buying cheap jewelry because first of all I can't wear cheap jewelry and that's not something that I just like say because I'm so 
wealthy and affluent. No, I can't because I'm allergic to everything except for gold and I think I'm even allergic to silver. But whenever I wore any type of earrings or necklaces or rings that were not high quality, like I can only wear rings that are brass or silver or gold and that's it. And my earrings and my necklace is gold. And I only wear one set of jewelry because I love it so much that I want to wear it every day. And that's my minimalist mindset kicking in that I want to wear things that I love, like I genuinely love and I want to wear them and see them on myself every single day. And I don't need any cheap looking and cheap jewelry in my life anymore. I stopped buying multiple accessories. I don't buy belts unless I have to replace the one that is already worn out. I don't buy hair accessories. I don't wear bobby pins, so I don't need to buy them. Like literally accessories. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I bought any accessory. So no, I don't wear anything. I'm pretty basic. <laughs> I no longer buy scented candles and again, if you are a woman, a young woman who grew up in 2014, 2016, beauty guru YouTube world, you know that everyone was big on scented candles and I thought that I needed them because every single YouTuber that I was watching who was a female and a beauty guru or a lifestyle guru they had so many candles and I thought I needed them because they had all of these candles. But I don't buy any scented candles anymore. Who needs them? I mean, if you like them, that's fine. But I just don't need them, you know? So I stopped buying them. Now, stationery, I still buy notebooks, but I don't buy any trendy stationery. And if you can remember the times where like coloring books and anti-stress coloring books were all the rage, I I think I bought one or two of them, but whenever there is something that is very trendy, like pens or stickers or whatever, I don't buy into these trends anymore. I only buy things that I love and things that go with my style and my aesthetics when it comes to stationery, because I still love stationery, don't get me wrong. Even though I'm a minimalist, I still buy stationery, because this is something that I truly take pleasure in having, but that's it, like I don't buy anything that's trendy anymore. And the last category is knickknacks and trinkets and like small pieces of decor, like home decor that you can put around the house, like souvenir type things. I don't buy these things anymore. And the only time I buy anything like this is when I need it for my YouTube setup. <laughs> like this pine cone and this thing in the back. I only bought it to have something here in the background. <laughs> but I don't buy it to like have around the house, like seasonal decor or like anything that is just like, ugh, I can't like, I can't have all of these things. I used to have so many knickknacks around the house growing up and now I just don't need them because to me, they're just a waste of space and sometimes they don't even look pretty. So no, I don't buy knickknacks and home decor items anymore. And there you have it. These are the 25 things that I stopped buying as a minimalist, as a vegan and as a 25 year old. And I'm so, so happy that I'm no longer attached to buying all of these things. Let me know down in the comments if you would add anything to this list. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to follow me on Instagram and to watch any of my minimalism related videos. And I will see you in my next video.